My name is Jessica Leitmanis and I'm an artist working sculpturally with marine debris rope. At the moment we are in the northern Tasman and we're mapping the ocean floor. Well, we're mapping it with a multi-beam so it actually gives us a really high definition reading of uh, what the actual floor looks like. And looking at those three-dimensional landscapes to inspire uh, and really exaggerate some of the three-dimensionality that comes through naturally in my weaving. Something that I have learned whilst on board Falkor from the scientists is that the seafloor is the largest habitat on Earth and it's also the least understood. So we really do have a lot of work to do. Seabed 2030 is an initiative to map the entire seafloor by 2030 and it's a collaborative of various organisations and institutions. And it's really fascinating to, to learn from the scientists and to hear from them how, how these sort of landforms might have occurred over time and how they've evolved over time. And, and it really can teach us a lot about, I guess, the past, but also potentially what, what might occur in the future. So, yeah, I, I love the idea of sort of trying to capture and distill some of that in my work, although it's, it's quite abstract in comparison. <laughs> A lot of my work at the moment is using rope. To me, rope is representative of this bigger issue, which is any inorganic material that is finding its way into the ocean. I'm really concerned, I guess, with some of the impacts that we as a society have on marine ecosystems and the planet at large. I think the connection between art and science is really important, reinforcing the importance of science and also just challenging people's perceptions. The more understanding we sort of have about how ecosystems are functioning, it really helps us make informed decisions to protect the health of our natural world and in effect ourselves really because we're all connected to it.